So let's find out how to set up your free web hosting package that comes with the complete web developer course. Now you need to go to ecowebhosting.co.uk, that's my web hosting company, forward slash CP for control panel and web dev course. Once you've gone to that URL, you'll see this page and it gives you an option to sign up for the free hosting. So all you need to do is enter your email address. So I'm going to enter rob at robpercival.co.uk. Enter your password and your name. Now we do need your name because we need to verify that you have indeed purchased the complete web developer course. So make sure you use the same name that you used when you registered for the course. So I'll just give my name there. Click sign up. Your account is activated immediately. So the first thing that you have the option to do is to send yourself some getting started guides. And I definitely recommend doing that. The getting started guide is particularly useful. If you have existing websites that you want to transfer to Eco Web Hosting, then that guide is useful as well. And if you're going to be using email, then that's very useful. Okay, so I'm just going to take a few moments to take you around the Eco Web Hosting control panel. The first page you'll probably want is the Create Hosting Packages page. So this is where you can create hosting packages for new domain names. So probably the first thing you're going to want to do is set up hosting because that will then allow you to work with a particular domain, upload files, run PHP scripts, share your wonderful website creations with the world. So you're on the advanced package, which means that you can create as many websites as you like. So we'll just put in a domain name, any test domain will work .com. And then if you want a copy of the welcome email to go somewhere else, that, then you can put that there, but it will be sent to you at your email address automatically anyway. And then we'll click create hosting package. That will take a little while to go through. And once the hosting package is created, it does take up to an hour to activate. So you may need to go off and have a cup of tea before you actually try uploading your files and running your scripts. While we're waiting for it to set up, it's worth mentioning as well that you can actually purchase domain names with us. You don't need to at all. You can purchase those domains elsewhere if you like. But if you want to use a live domain, then you just put it in there. So any test domain will work .com and click go and you can purchase the domain from us. But there are more instructions on that later on. Okay, so it's set up the domain for us. We can now click manage hosting packages and there it is. There's our hosting package, any test domain will work. Fantastic, so if we click on that, notice it will go to the domain name, which of course is not going to work because the domain itself has not been registered. So if you want to actually use a live domain with your hosting, then you definitely can. You can either purchase it with us or purchase it elsewhere and the name servers will need to be changed to us so that it's linked to Eco Web Hosting. And you'll get an email automatically when you sign up with instructions to do that. So let's go back. Let's see what else we can do. We can manage domain names. Now at the moment we've got this domain name here. We don't actually own the domain but we can still do things with it. If we click on that link there it will take us to the domain control panel. So at the moment you get a warning saying that well essentially the domain doesn't exist. But if you want to work with your domain and change what's called the DNS then you can. And the DNS allows you to host your domain elsewhere if you'd like or set up things like Google Apps for your domain or a lot of very advanced things that we don't really need to look at right now. But the main point is you have complete control over your domain and can do whatever you like with it. Okay, going back here. You can also set up domain mappings. So a domain mapping allows you to have two domain names on the same hosting package. So maybe I can have another domain will do dot com. And then that will point another domain will do dot com onto any test domain will work dot com. So you can set that up if you want, but you don't really need to. Rename hosting packages is fairly obvious. A useful thing is view hosting passwords, um, which generally will not give you your password unless you've changed it. But 
it does mean that we can click on the domain name here and that will take us to the control panel. So here's your control panel which will allow you to do pretty much everything that you'll want to do with your domain and we'll look at how we can use that in the next video.